right, what's up, One Nation? We're celebrating an ODAC championship here in Tyson's Corner, Virginia. Kyle Haney and Ivy O'Kelly McWilliams, the fourth. Talk to me about this championship culture. We right after the game, you caught me. You were like, man, it just. It's just contagious. It makes you want to step up your game. Talk about that championship winning culture here. I mean, it was amazing, and it was apparent from the first round of the ODAX. I remember coming in after the first inning and looking at one of my friends on the team kind of more and just being like, dude, this is this is cool. This is cool, man. Being in the playoffs in this program, it really is championship culture, and we don't want the season to end, so we're not going to let it. Not on our way. Well, you bring that vibe. You elevate Lynchburg to a higher level. Your speed, you're swinging the bat again, makes a great plays defensively. Talk about the week. I know you guys got to stay focused, but you're feeling pretty great right now, right? I feel great. This is definitely a high. Like, teammates are doing everything around me to just keep making plays. When I mess up, they're there for me, and I'm there for them when they mess up. And I'm excited for a real, real good week of work. I love yeah. that. I love that. Let's get this guy out here celebrating again, all right? One Nation. Go Hornets. Another ODAC dub. Ring the bell. All right, what's up, One Nation? We're coming to you from Tyson's Corner, Virginia. We're celebrating an ODAC baseball championship. And we got to get catcher, Sean Pokerock. I decided catchers never get enough love. They're getting foul tips. They're getting beat up. They're getting run over. This man needs some love. You catch a no-hitter uh -huh. on Friday. Catch a little bit yesterday. Mm -hmm. Catch all nine today. I thought you were outstanding. Talk Thank about you. working with the pitchers. I know you take a lot of pride in there. The pitcher gets the credit. It's his ERA and all that. But you take a lot of pride in how your pitchers perform, right? Oh, 100%. Those are my boys. And I give all credit to them because they bust their butt off every day to get better. And they do everything they can for our team to help them. So I, I can't complain. I, I have all praise to them. I don't deserve any credit. Please, they're the ones who deserve all the credit. Well, I'm giving him the credit. Uh, talk about the offense. I mean, you guys are swinging the bats. It might they're not Quentin have been. Madden. Quentin Madden. That boy, Quentin Madden. Madden. Look, but tell me about the hitting approach. Don't give any secrets away, but I mean, you guys, you guys live for this, don't you? You thrive for these big games. Oh, absolutely. I mean, last year kind of set the tone. It's just like playoff baseball is our kind of baseball, and we love to be in this environment and just perform. And there's nothing too crazy that we think about the play. We're just trying to have fun and play for each other. That's it. One last thought. Uh, I mean, we are the defending national champions. I know you take it one pitch at a time, uh -huh. but you guys are talking about that some, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it definitely gets brought up, and everyone's trying to replicate what we did last year. But, I mean, it's a new team, and it's a new story, and everything's going to be different, and we're just kind of trying to write our own story this year as well. I'm loving this story so far. Come ring the bell with these guys in a little bit. Another ODAC championship. Go Horns. We'll see you there. What's up, One Nation? It's Kyle Haney hanging out with my guy Cam Lane. We wanted to get your perspective, Cam Lane. You did this last year as a player. You're an twice. assistant coach. <laughs> did you hear what he said? Twice. twice. You, you, you did this – so many times as a player. Now you're an assistant coach. Talk us through the different perspectives. More nervous, less nervous? I mean, you're staying focused on the, on your responsibilities out there. Uh, surprisingly, a lot more nervous as a coach. I felt like when I was playing the game and actually had more of an impact, I wasn't as nervous. Once the game started, my nerves definitely calmed a little bit, but as a coach, it's a lot more nerve-wracking. You don't have any say in what's going on. But it's still pretty cool. It feels so cool. Well, talk about, yeah, talk about this team because they were, it felt like in the beginning of the year, they were kind of in the shadow from last year. You win a national championship, that's going to be a big shadow. Seems like now they're starting to come out of that and, and really write their own story, right? Yeah, for sure. I think it was hard, you know, having such a whole group last year. It's different coming into a new season and no one even really knows who the role players are going to be and stuff like that. But I think as the season's going on, we've kind of found our group a little bit, especially the last two weeks. So I think people are emerging and well, you should be able to help people ring the bell because you've got so much experience. So let's let's go do that. Let's have some fun and get ready for an NCAA region.